So welcome to Princeton University and this university is already giving me a lot of Oxford University's vibes. This was built in just I think 6 to 10 years ago by the CEO of eBay. So this is not colonized by Europeans. Dinner is really early, like 5 to 7 p.m. And that's how my college was too. You only got two meals on weekends, just brunch and dinner. Oh, this brunch and dinner? Yeah. Oh, no breakfast. The food looks really good here. <laughs> I saw that Columbia University didn't give up in the inside. They said just take food and go out. <laughs> it was so strange. Thank you again. So we are in the Princeton Dining Hall. This also gives us the Harry Potter vibes. Thank you so much, Elena, for inviting. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, so this building is the Whitman Dining Hall and it's kind of structured to look like emulate one of the more historic buildings on campus. Uh -huh. And then the Rocky Dining Hall, which is closed right now, is like the properly Harry Potter looking building. Yeah, oh, thank you. That's, that's actually closed right now. For social distancing, we have to keep chairs at distance. Yeah, this is really cool. So if you want to get it clean, just flip it and they will clean it for us. Oh my god, this is the celebrator is faulty. This is real side of Princeton. We have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm never Princeton. It's a very small laundry room. Yeah, this one's pretty small. The one in my previous like hall, hold up was pretty big. Okay. And also the restroom is outside, so you don't have a restroom in the dorm, right? Yes. There, uh, I don't have a restroom in the dorm. It's a communal one. Oh. There are some rest colleges, the newest ones like Butler's, uh -huh. which have uh, like private washrooms. In the, in, the, in the dorm? Yes. So finally, this is Bendel Hall dorm. Wow. So this is the quad. And um, no one's living here right now, but this would usually have four people. Four people, okay. Yeah. So bedroom number one. So this is the first bedroom. There would be like two beds and furniture for two people. Oh. This is very really nice. Then, but uh, so you all have different study area. That is so cool. Yes, we get four desks, one for each person. Yep, and same there. And but, the same here. Inside there is like another bedroom here. But no fridge or anything. Uh, yes, you can rent a micro fridge uh, uh -huh. from student agencies or uh -huh. like buy a fridge. Like it doesn't come with the room though. Okay, so you have to buy fridge, microwave, everything on your own. Yes. Thank you. Wow. It was beautiful. Wait, okay. what are the Should I get my umbrella? Uh, the forecast says it's twenty percent chance right now. Only twenty. That's okay. Bad. Yeah. yeah. So I'm in front of Louis International Building which houses College of Economics which is very popular here and I happen to meet freshmen at Princeton University. Hi Ananya. Hi, uh, I'm Ananya. I'm a freshman from New Delhi, India um, and I'm studying uh, computer science at Princeton. Yep, and the interview with Ananya is linked in the description below and I wanted to ask you one important question. So in Princeton University, first you struggle to get in because the acceptance rate is 3.5%. 
and there's a bell curve in this university that means not all students can get a because uh, like let's say 30% students get a 30% b and so on so do you think it becomes very competitive to you know get good grades i think it is competitive like some people experience that after in their high school they feel like they are the highest ranked or top most students but after coming here they are in the midst of so many other like intelligent students and not everyone is obviously going to get an A in all their classes so you get the first B or C of your life <laughs> um and that initially comes as a shock but i think like p- students are supportive and collaborative i don't think like the competitive spirit makes the environment toxic per se Awesome. Thank you so much. So these are the Spelman buildings which are apartment style housing for upperclassmen um like 30 and 4th year students. Oh, so I thought upper class means rich. Khopri tod re khopri tod sale ka. So they are they are junior and senior. Makes sense. So you'll be moving to those apartments next year, right? Uh, no, next year I'll be a sophomore so second year student and I would still have a dorm in a residential college. Um uh-huh. and then when you are a junior or senior you can choose to go independent and then you have different housing options uh-huh. usually um like spelman is one of those options usually seniors get preference for spelman though okay one quick question about housing mm-hmm. so in financial aid housing is also included or you have to pay separately usually like right i think it depends on uh, how much aid you're getting okay. so if you're in partial financial aid that might uh, would cover your tuition cost and not um housing like housing cost. if you're in full financially that would cover everything everything okay awesome called, the class was called um introduction to american popular culture uh-huh. and then um we had an assignment that was basically sort of a conceptual scavenger hunt and we had to look for something that was horrific And this was what we chose. Oh wow. It's pretty pretty horrific. It is horrific. Do <laughs> you know the story behind it or the meaning yeah, or any ritualistic, you know? Yeah. Like people are going to try to like summon Satan yes. here. Wow. I think every every place is so so beautiful that I'm saying wow again and again. Uh-huh. And Einstein's table is this. Oh, sculpture. So Einstein actually was here? I mean, I was No, I think it's just named Einstein's table. Yeah. Okay. I guess it was inspired maybe from something some of his work. Okay. Actually, wait, I think that Einstein did come here. He did, but he, he did. was at the um there is a classroom on campus I think where he taught. The the water is not supposed to touch the ground. It just rotates oh, around the yes. surface. Oh. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, but since you dropped the stone in it caused mm-hmm. it to Yeah. splash over. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't look like a gym. Yeah, this looks like a castle rather than a gym. Yeah. <laughs> Closed. Okay. This is church, right? Yeah, it's like a church. Chapel, oh. it's like chapel. a church, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Not chapel. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Firestone Library. Full-blown cathedral. Yeah, it looks like it belongs in France. Like it's a cathedral I've seen in France. Yep. Une cathédrale. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we were wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a church. Yeah. That one is library. Yeah. We're in the Princeton Firestone Library right now. and these are some of my favorite study places on campus you can just reserve one of any one of these seats during covid usually you can just come in and take any open seat and then there are all of these places where you can sit and study this is the first campus center 
like another place uh, this is where we have like a um, university mailing services so where you get your packages delivered uh -huh. um, Thank you. The Ben Hive Center for Finance, Department of Economics, um, International Economics, PIA, Public Policy and Finance, all of these like um, classes inside this. Sure. So, uh, Princeton University doesn't have a school of business, so but they have College of Economics. They have, economics? They have an economics department, and we have um, uh, a finance certificate instead of a major. And uh -huh. then a, ma a certificate is basically a minor in finance. So you can see, like the Center for Finance is in this building. Okay. Um, there is also an engineering major, which lots of people choose to do if they're interested in business or more the more quantitative side of applied maths called operations research and financial engineering, or ORFI for short. He's an alumni who donated this center. There are some courses, like there is a course that I was looking at. Um, I don't have space for it, but it's called like um, Sustainable Cities in US and India. So they look at the different like um, sustainability and all of that practices in uh, and how they're taking place in both countries, similarities and differences, I think. And then it's like also formulating policies for that. Sure. So courses like that and then global seminars um, which take students from here to India. Mm -hmm. um, so this is like the hub for all of that, I think, the main office area. So we can say the International Institute offers exchange programs for students to go abroad, right? Technically. Yes. Yes, okay. But you can also do minors if you're like African studies, contemporary European politics, like I'm just reading from there. Yeah. Okay. Like whichever part of the world you're interested in and combine that with your major. And it could be like an engineering um, major, like it doesn't have to be something like in the humanities or social sciences necessarily.